everyone. This is all about worm composting and how worms create soil. There's a lot of information here that you can use for a science fair project. You can use it for a homeschooling project to make worm compost, or you can use it in a classroom to have a worm bin. This is all about my worm experiences. In this presentation, I go over the things that confused me in the beginning, like how much food to feed the worms, and were night crawlers the same kind of worm. My first worm composting experience ended in total failure, so I am hoping to save you from some mistakes and misunderstandings. I also teach you about several worm facts and give an overview on how to create a worm bin. This will enhance your worm composting experience. All the pictures are taken from my experience with worms, the pictures, and the movies. Enjoy! This is our table of contents. Number one, definitions. Part two, differences between night crawlers and composting worms. Number three, what do worms eat? Part four, what do we do with the food scraps? Part five, how and why did composting happen? Part 6. Some interesting facts about composting worms. Part 7. General tips on creating a worm bin. Number 8. What can you grow with worm compost? Definitions. Composting is decomposing organic matter. Organic matter includes food scraps, dried leaves from the trees in the fall, grass from cutting your grass, sawdust, straw, etc. It decomposes this into compost, which looks like dirt when it's finished, and it's a great amendment for the soil. Worm composting is when the worms do most of the work in a worm bin. Here is some half-finished worm compost. You can see some of the worms. This is really important. Don't worry. If you don't want to touch the worms, you can wear gloves. Your parents or your teachers can get these for you. If you don't mind touching the worms, they can crawl around on your hand. They might tickle a little bit. They will not hurt you. The plain truth of how worms make worm compost. Worms eat the food scraps. They process it in their body and then they poop it out. These are called worm castings and also worm compost. The truth is that people use manure as fertilizer. Throughout the ages, farmers have used manure to fertilize their plants. So what is the difference if we use worm poop for fertilizer? At least it doesn't smell. How about a worm joke to lighten things up? Why do worms have trouble getting up in the morning? Because the early bird catches the worm. Source is www.jokesforus.com.